Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Ducks Kingdom. So, Google has just released its coding agent. It's called Jules. So, this is awesome coding agent. And if you're on the waiting list, you should be able to access it. But, because it's on beta, so if you have not registered to wait in the past, you're probably not able to access this page. So, if you are able to access it, so this is how it looks. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use it, how to test it. So it is a pretty good uh, coding agent. So that is said, let's get started. So if you actually be able to log in to jewels.google.com using your Gmail, then you should be able to land on this page. You can see that on the left side, uh, basically there are tasks. So basically these are the tasks that you run and your code basis. So basically you can run the daily task, a max uh, five tasks so which means you can actually attach different code bases then you can actually uh, run tasks against those uh, code bases so in this case uh, we actually uh, added a website so it's called a lovable site so you can see uh, from this uh, github page so you can see there's lovable sites we made a website it's called a site demo one so in this website we actually built a crypto trading's uh, landing page so and you can see basically uh, this is already generated by jewels so to get to this um, page you have to first uh, log in to your github repo so after that you can pick the branch that you want to work on so the default is just the main branch which is the branch you, you want jewels to update so uh, in the Lovable sites branch. So basically, we had a one branch which is called main. So in this branch, we have different files, and we want the Jules to update this based on the prompt. You can specify in this section, which is ask Jules to work on a task, and we basically test. Uh, so update the readme, right? So that's what we actually did for the test. Then he will go through the analysis and also the generation process to actually give an updated readme based on the code in this uh, lovable size repo. So because we actually um, tested this before recording this video, so let's just go to the the task. So as you can see here, uh, so first we uh, ask can you update the readme for this repo. So that's the initial uh, prompt. And then the tools will give you a plan. So the first one is update readme with a comprehensive description of the crypt tax project. Then you basically add a section on how to run this project. And after that, um, so basically we'll add a section for future development and also submit the change. So once you agree the plan, so you will actually say plan approved. Then after that, we'll start to work through the code base and make updates. So in this case, you will update the readme. So you can see everything is updated according to the prompt. So here's the result of the, uh, readme a markdown file and after that you can actually see uh, it's ready for review so if you actually click the um, file which is the readme update you can see uh, the changes that uh, Jules made so once everything is ready then you can just click submit because we already submitted the change so you can see um, there's a view branch in here then you can click the view branch it will bring you to this page which is already has everything be updated. You can see the readme is a lot more better than the one that we actually put into the main REPL. So the main REPL, this is the original uh, readme, which, which doesn't have anything. Then if you go to the branch that's created by Jules, uh, you can see everything is updated very nicely. So, so this is a pretty good project and you can run this five times a day. So in the same time, so you can see um, it's very similar to how the Manus AI uh, process all these different prompts. So if you have not watched my previous video on how Manus works, feel free to check out the Manus tutorials in this channel. So basically you will get uh, free credits for 300 credits per day and uh, you can start testing. Uh, if you um, have not watched all these uh, awesome Manus videos, feel free to take a look. It should help you uh, get some ideas to use the uh, AI agent in general. So that being said, hopefully this is helpful. And uh, if you do like this video, 
please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and see you in the next one.